Hey guys, in this video, I'll be giving you an in-depth tutorial on MemAI, which will help you to manage your workflow quite easily. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you are also looking for this creative transformation or are just overall curious on what MemAI has to offer, this video will give you everything you need to know to master Mem. It is actually very easy to get started. You can simply create an account on the web and then you are good to go. I was pretty hyped about that app, though since I heard that it could basically allow you to create an idea factory without effort. But you know, if you've ever been in a situation where a friend tells you about a cool app you need to try, then you get stuck in the login process and quickly loses interest, you know what I mean. It's also very easy to download the desktop app on both Mac or PC by clicking here on the official site, where you can then log in as normal. Mem also has an iOS app, but not an Android app as of now, so already right here it's most optimal for iPhone users. Once you have logged in, you enter this very clean space with this timeline view in the center. Normally all your notes are sorted by latest modified, but you can change it right here if you want to. You can also click on chat things added by you or shared with you, which we will get back to later. Then we have this sidebar on the top here with home, collections, favorites, chat, and search. And while we are going to go deeper on all of that mentioned, let's explore this thing right here called the home mem. It is simply a scratch pad where you can write down the most important thing, could be a focus question, an inspirational quote, whatever, which you can always see here if you have this sidebar locked in place. And from here you can also delete your notes and add them to your collections. Now, out of all the note-taking apps out there, MEM offers the easiest way ever to create new notes. Now to create a new note, simply click on this new note button at the top, and here you'll be able to create your note. But before we move further, let me introduce you to the collections tab. So this is the tab where you'll be making your collections of your notes. To create a new collection, you just need to press this new collection button. Give your collection a name and write down a short description if you want, and this way you've a new collection ready to put in your notes. Now, either you can add your notes by clicking on this search bar and search for the specific note you want to put in this collection, or you can do this while creating a note. You can see we've this add to collection button right here, and similarly you've to search for your collection in order to add your notes. With this feature, you'll be able to organize your notes in an effective manner. So, let's say you have some dates of your meeting scheduled. So, for that you can create individual notes and add all of them to one collection. You can create multiple collections with different categories and put your notes to make the things organized. Now, let's discuss some key features while creating notes. The core feature that MEM is most known for and got me personally to use it in 2021 is linking. Compared to apps like Obsidian and Roam, you link by pressing plus or at the rate and then type either the name of the note which pops up in this below menu over here or create a new note with that title. Once you click on that link, it opens up on the sidebar right here which you can either expand to its own or switch sides. Unfortunately, the first line of that new note is not a heading so if you care about how it looks, you have to adjust it manually by typing hash. Then on the right side, you can see its backlinks and links from one specific document. So you can travel back and forth between those two. Now we're favorites, so while creating a note, you can add it to your favorites. And when you hover your cursor to this, your notes will appear in the drop down just like this. So you can mark your urgent notes as favorites to find them easy and quick. After this, we've chat. So in this section, you've your personal AI chat assistant you can chat with this AI to discuss topics, get questions answered, or generate content based the notes you store in MEM. So let's say you have hundreds of notes and you wanted to find something very important in them, but you don't remember in which note you have that particular information, then you can chat with this AI bot to find the info very quick. Lastly, we've this search, and using this, you can search for your notes and collections within your workspace. Now. If you use an automation service called Zapier, you can use it to connect various processes and automations into MEM. 
For example, you can make it so certain emails or emails that you start get into MEM, get new deals, tickets, contacts or companies from HubSpot into MEM. The same with Zendesk, new messages from Slack, Teams, Outlook and even Evernote for some reason. And many more which you can select on your own. You can create an account right here and log in. You can use Zapier for free or upgrade if you use it a lot. Then you basically follow the instructions for each automation that you want to make. For example, what happens when you go into the app, which account we are talking about, what action will happen, and then a test run just to see if it works. Now, if you have deleted something accidentally, that was very important to you. Mem AI gives you the access to recover it. And to this, all you have to do is to click on your profile at the top right and select view trash. So all the things you've ever deleted would appear here. Nonetheless, here is everything you need to know about MEM, both in terms of note-taking, MEM Spotlight, AI, and all its other integration features. Definitely a leader in the note-taking space and very easy to get started, extremely frictionless, and I can tell you from experience. Having a very frictionless note-taking experience is crucial when it comes to actually using notes and getting the most benefits out of it like this idea factory a constantly growing place of knowledge and just overall feel that you have the upper hand in everything you do. So that's all for this video. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Thanks.